do all of the following have in common? Denzel from Only Fools and Horses, Chris Kamara, The Magnificent Seven, and Sunday Morning Football. Dickie Davis went to find out. Take a few ex-footballers, a sprinkling of Britain's favourite actors, and a freezing cold playing field. And what have you got? Well, the set of a new British comedy film, which is based, very loosely, on the original Magnificent Seven film. Four, one, five, eight, two, this one is called The Magnificent eight, Eleven, about an awful Sunday football team who are trying to save the day. Ian, yeah, have you got any idea what your day involves yet? Um, not really. I think it's a case of warming up, diving in some mud, getting back up, getting cold, diving in mud again. Something like that. It's all very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't think you're glamour of films as this, do you, really? No, exactly. You know, I thought it'd be uh, more um, take it easy, put my feet up in my trailer. Cammy's here, isn't he? Cammy's here, so it's got to be fun of Cammy's here. Have you ever seen Cammy play? Oh, my gosh. When he was playing, he was crap. Have you seen him now? <laughs> Hollywood legend Robert Fawn is in it, but he'd finished his scenes a week earlier. You can see him here, third from the right, in these original promo shots from the film, alongside the likes of Charles Bronson, James Coburn, Yul Brynner and Steve McQueen. Vaughan is the only one of those magnificent seven who's still with us. Robert Vaughan? Not bad, eh? Robert Vaughan, I think he, what I heard, what I heard, I heard he said if Dion's involved, I want to get involved, so... Uh, no, it's, um, it's one I heard it the other way around, I heard yeah. Dion saying if Robert <laughs> Vaughan's involved, exactly, I'm getting exactly, involved. Yeah. That's completely right, I just lied completely. Robert Vaughan was just absolutely the loveliest man, he really was. Such a genuinely nice bloke and, and obviously a legend with some, some brilliant stories about the original Magnificent Seven shoot and Yul Brynner and Steve McQueen and all those guys. Um, cause of course he worked on Bullet as well and he was the man from UNCLE, so that was amazing. Keith Allen's a massive football fan and these days is probably better known as Lily's dad. He looked good Chris, he's actually a good actor. Did you see it when he got angry and he failed? And all that? Mind you, it might just be being himself really. <laughs> it's just a horrible old git. <laughs> What did you learn today? Um, I learned that I can't act. <laughs> or I've been acting all my life, one of the two. <laughs> Keith Allen said exactly the same. Denzel was there, out of Only Fools and Horses. You should have been, been taken off, man. You should have never played football in his life, no? yes, man. <laughs> OK, bye. Never hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah. Intentionally. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, a few ex-players doing their very best to recreate their very best. Dion at the back. Ian. Both. Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Action! Mickey Ambrose used to play for Charlton and Chelsea. These days he's making the football scenes look realistic in films such as Fever Pitch. And he helps keep the extras warm. Mickey, I couldn't imagine trying to choreograph Dion Dublin, Chris Kamara and Ian Walker. It, very, very difficult because uh, obviously I can play, but uh, obviously they want to do their own thing and they're quite good at doing their own thing. So it's been different. It's more working with the actors that can't kick a ball, to be honest with you. <laughs> they all think they can play football, of course, you know. Uh, but do. When they run from box to box, you know, they realise when they see the DVD, they think, was I running that slow? They've really got into the idea of being comedy bad football team, their lowest of the lowest Sunday league in the land, um, playing against teams like Real Sociopath. And joking aside, it was absolutely freezing. Any tricks on a trade that you learned today? Uh, yes, uh, yes, a very important trick. Do not take your coat off until Keith Allen's taken his coat off. Then you know you've got to film. Otherwise you're standing around freezing. Otherwise, yes, yes. Those things that we can't say about were off. I froze them off. <laughs> Denzel said to me, Paul Barber, that uh, I was destined for Hollywood. Apparently it's an Indian just around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Walks was on fire. Walks was on fire. I think they scored a couple of dodgy goals against him, but uh, that's just Walks. I've, I've scored a couple of dodgy goals against Walks in my, in my career, let me tell you. Oh, it's outstanding out there. Oscar nomination. <laughs> I'm expecting anyway out of that, I tell you. I've, uh, they, they said just act naturally, so I threw a few in. So it was, uh, it was not a problem. Dion did say there were a few dodgy goals. He said, I've scored dodgy goals against Walks in my time anyway. Yeah, 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 they all say that. It's probably all true as well. We'll wait for the film to come out to see if it's harder to get actors to play football <laughs> or get footballers to act.
big budget blockbuster in the making.